a closely divided Supreme Court. Four justices in their 70s. Presidential candidates with dramatically different views of the ideal high court nominee. And yet, until late in Thursday's debate between Vice President Joe Biden and Republican Vice Presidential nominee Paul Ryan, hardly a word about the court had passed the candidates' lips. When the presidential candidates debated a week earlier, the Supreme Court was not mentioned even once. Neither President Barack Obama nor Republican challenger Mitt Romney talks about the court in campaign speeches. In the space of a couple of thank you for trying verbose, this recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Minutes on Thursday, however, the vice presidential candidates touched on the stakes in next month's election. The court came up when debate moderator Martha Raddatz asked about abortion. Ryan made a reference that might have been oblique to many viewers but what well understood by advocates on both sides of the abortion debate as a repudiation of the court's decision in Roe v. Wade in 1973 declaring a woman's constitutional right to an abortion. We don't think that unelected judges should make this decision, Ryan said. Instead, people through their elected thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Representatives in reaching the consensus in society through the democratic process should make this determination. The tone and substance of Ryan's words are similar to the views of Justice Antonin's alien, who recently reiterated his belief that the Constitution offers no protection for the rights of women who seek an abortion. Biden then specifically invoked Roe v. Wade and the threat he believes Romney's election would pose to that landmark ruling. The next president will get one or two Supreme Court nominees. That's how close Roe v. Wade is, Biden said. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. He went on to predict that Romney, if elected, would appoint justices like Scalia who would vote to outlaw abortion. Ryan asked whether Obama imposed a litmus test on his Supreme Court choices, by which he meant whether Obama had required Justices Elena Kagan and Salmia Sotomayor to offer assurances of their commitments to abortion rights before he nominated them to the high court. Biden said there was no such test. We picked people who had an open mind, did not come with an agenda, he said. The discussion ended there.